back to Our Kids Today. My name is Becky Bennett. I'm the Director of Development with Pasco Kids First. Today we are joined by Barbara Sprague, who is the Executive Director of the Community Food Bank with Citrus County. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the difference between a food bank and a food pantry. So Becky, the difference between a food bank and a pantry is a food bank actually brings in bulk products um, and is able to get and secure a better cost for those food supplies and get it to a level where the pantry can actually manage it and then deliver it directly to the public. So the food bank brings it in at a commercial level and then we're able to distribute it um, at a level that the pantry can actually handle and manage. Awesome. And where is the Community Food Bank in Citrus County? We're actually right in Homestassa on Cardinal, but our trucks and our people go everywhere in Citrus County, Hernando County, Hillsborough County, wherever there's product that we need to um, salvage and rescue um, or procure for the pantry's needs. And about how many pantries do you serve? We actually serve over 50 agencies. Um, we have 48 that we consistently supply to on a weekly, uh, monthly basis. And then there are some other ones that do a temporary feeding at different times of the year. But we supply to 50, over 50 agencies in Citrus and Hernando County. Wow, so that's serving a lot of families, a lot of individuals. It is. We, we figure that there is a 50% poverty level in our area, so there are over 24,000 people just in Citrus County alone that f face food insecurity on a daily basis. They literally have to make a choice between having an apple to eat or putting gas in their car to go to work, keeping the lights on, or buying a medication that they really need. So we, right now, serve over 17,000 people a month. Um, through all of our pantry partners and our Feeding America relationship, as well as our relationships with the local stores, Walmart, Sam's Club, um, Winn-Dixie, Publix, and Save-A-Lot are all extremely helpful in helping us to help those 17,000 people who would otherwise be hungry today. So I imagine with 17,000 people served every month, you must have a large team that coordinates all of that? Well, we actually have a very small staff of just eight people. Some are part-time, but those include our CDL class truck drivers, as mm -hmm. well as our warehouse um, forklift operators and warehouse management. But what we really have is an awesome group of volunteers that come in and help us to process the salvage product that comes in from the stores. So we not only have product that we can purchase and offset um, to the pantries at a wholesale level, but we have salvage product that we can give for free um, or extremely reduced cost because we're able to bring in that product that would have otherwise been thrown away and put in a dumpster at Publix or Walmart, Winn-Dixie, all of your larger supermarkets. Mm -hmm. And it's reprocessed, you know, cleaned up for distribution to a person to eat. And if it's not eligible for a person to eat, then it goes right to um, our local wildlife. Oh wow! Yeah, so that's wonderful. So nothing goes to waste now. Wonderful. And so you mentioned volunteers. Do you have additional volunteer needs? We do. We always need volunteers. We are operating Monday through Friday, and typically our trucks are coming in with those those foods and supplies between eight and noon. So we need volunteers to help us to sort those supplies so we can get them right back out to the people who need them. And how about donations? I know you mentioned the different grocery stores and. Um, right. the bulk that comes in. Can individuals donate to the community food bank? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what we really do well with is, is actual monetary money. You can have a food drive and collect cans of food and that is fantastic. We will take those and get them redistributed. But for us and our buying power, we can, for one dollar that's donated, we can provide over eight meals. Oh, wow. So that buying power really helps to distribute the food a lot better. So how can people find out more about Community Food Bank in Citrus County? Yep, you can either visit our website at communityfoodbankofcitruscounty.org or just give us a call, 352-628-3663, which is food. Great, great. Do you have any other things you want to add? Um, I just want to make sure that people really understand that we are really feeding our neighbors here. There are one in six adults and one in four kids right here that live in your neighborhood that are facing food insecurity on a daily basis. And what we can do is help to provide them with a meal so that they can make other decisions and pay other bills and, and not have to worry about 
going hungry that day and having an empty tummy. We all know what that feels like. Right. Um, but they can actually, you know, continue to get their educations and go to work and better themselves just by us providing a few groceries. Well, we're absolutely fortunate to have the Community Food Bank to serve the kids and the families in our community, keeping them from being hungry and having your leadership welcome Thank to you. the position, as well as all of your volunteers. We hope that uh, you continue to expand your services and thank you so much for all you do. Thank you. Thank you very much and thanks to you to the community. It does take a village to help everyone. Thank you. And to learn more about Pasco Kids First, visit PascoKidsFirst.org.